Yeah, it's His working. Ready. <laughs> <laughs> I can close it. It's not just <laughs> but do you watch the end of the? Do you see the end of your log? So if you do something, yeah, you actually yes. see the log. Yeah. 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 yeah, cool. It's very interesting that through all of these different movement and because of the one single platform for health information on the HIS too. Now the Ministry of Health say, okay, we are one country, we have one system, we have a one plan, and we sing one song. Donor coming in and they say, okay, we want to sing the same song. Where can we go in? Uh, it's really nice. <laughs> From day zero, actually, we, uh, you know, we contact the developers, you know, in the University of Oslo because they, they are the ones who developed the DHIS tool. And actually, their response was really very positive and very good. Yeah. Um we have been implementing a uh, national scale modern child health system in Palestine. Oh, hello Marcus. <laughs> this is my friend. And yeah. we really, we really... Uh, so in addition to being very technology focused and focused on making a good platform with a good quality, uh, technology wise, one of the core ideas in DHIS2 is to keep the developers very close to the use cases and to the real settings where they are working and the real settings um, they are supporting. Basically, I'll give you some background on the DHIS2 and uh, I'll also let you know... So, working in DHIS uh, means often that you get to travel, you get to see the rural district that your, your uh, application actually is going to run in. You get to see that uh, they actually have power only half of the time. Uh, and that their internet is more than lacking. You get to see that the computer running DHS is probably the only computer in the village sometimes. Thanks for coming and uh, good luck. At the moment of you know fetching those relationships and then giving it back. But we haven't built the front end for it yet, have we? No, there's no front end, so it's okay. completely... We are currently working uh, using Java 8 for our backend development. Uh, along with the popular frameworks like Spring and Hibernate. And uh, for the database we use uh, PostgreSQL. And we, we feel that uh, the global adoption of DHIS2 is increasing the demand and expectations for DHIS2 as a platform. So, and, uh, we, are, we are actually now looking at uh, something that we call the next generation DHIS2. So, I think that is where the you know, more exciting things are in store. So, we, we are uh, planning to switch to Java 11 and um, we will be using Spring Boot 2.0 or a later version which was released earlier this year and uh, along with that you know, we will be seeing you know, some first class support for clustering, for uh, enabling uh, docker containers and for easy installations. So you have a chance to, uh, to explore, to innovate, to, to, you know, to tap into the latest technology plus you also serve you know, a global cause. Uh, a social cause. So I think what more do you need? I can safely say that um, working in DHIS2 is the best thing that happened to my career and I'm sure you know more exciting times are ahead.